It's Jacko from the Schoolcast NX. I'm here with Ollie Frost, our movement specialist. that has got a nice little routine follow along that I'm going to do and you're going to be able to do with us. Uh, tell them what we're going to just go through quickly, Ollie. So we're going to go through a um, head to toe routine of some basic mobility drills, which I think you can do at any point in the day, whether that's in the morning, before bed, when you get a little break in the day to, to keep your joints sort of ticking over, improve maintenance of that joint health and that longevity as an overall goal. So spend a minute on each exercise, then move down the whole routine to take about three to four minutes in total. And you can do this every day, if not twice a day to begin with. So feet square, squeeze your hands tight like this. Isolate, trap air into your stomach. Now we're gonna do slow neck circles, circles all the way around, squeezing your hands tight to increase that tension through your body. So if Jacko keeps taking his head all the way around, super slow. For the purpose of this, we'll just do a couple each side. And then we're gonna change direction. Maximize that tension through your fist. You should be squeezing your fist super tight, squeezing your quads and your abdomen so you can feel that full body tension throughout. And then we'll change direction if you haven't already. All the way around, full range. Any pinching angle pain here, so any sort of closing angle pain in terms of sharpness into the neck or into any of the joints, please stop straight away. That's a, uh, fl that's a red flag to stop what you're doing. Okay, so once you've done that, we're now gonna go into swimmers with both arms so from here we're going to take the arms up keep the shoulder blades down and then we're going to go full rotation around the shoulders like this and bend your arms that's it perfect and then take the arms back again squeeze the fists squeeze the fists all the way around good and then go again back squeeze the fists take it through the full available range of motion good keep going take the arms back and around like that. It's important that we're not just doing this, by the way, just really slow and um, so, so really fast passive movements. We're doing really controlled work. Okay, now we're gonna do some thoracic mobility. So from here, cross your arms like this. Imagine your pelvis is gonna stay straight. This lower abdomen is gonna be still in, in a face forward. Flex your spine slightly. I want us now to do more tension through here, squeeze the quads, and I want us to do really small circles around the middle of the back. So if Jack is this way, face side on, it's just gonna do small circles around this point of the spine. Try and keep this, these hips super still and super straight. And that's gonna make sure that we only mobilize the thoracic spine and we haven't got any lower body rotation involved as well. Good, and you can just relax there. Great, and then as you come on to all fours, we're just gonna flow through some cat cows Again, trying to segment through the spine. Lumbar spine first, keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up, good. And back down. Again, you'll spend about a minute on each exercise. Don't worry about reps and sets. You wanna just really think about if there's an area you might need to spend a little bit more time on, which you can just give that time to. So come down slowly, slowly come down. If you might have had like a bit of a bad back on the day or you're doing a lot of training, you might wanna just do some lumbar spine cat cows in this position from here. From here, we're doing some hip circles. Knee comes up, rotate all the way around, super slow, and back round. Keep this knee in line with this hand, keep this arm straight, this knee, knee a bit wider. That's it, this knee a bit wider, that's it. So we don't wanna see any hiking through the torso. We just wanna mobilize the joint like that. So you might spend maybe 45 seconds on each side on this particular exercise, keep your arms straight. Good, and back, that's it. Good. Don't hike up, keep slower. So just relax there. Okay, and then once you've done both sides, come into a squat position like this. If you're not happy to be in this squat position, you can place some plates or you can put some, um, something underneath your feet to elevate your heels. And then we're gonna do knee push outs from here, so open up the hips. Really think about driving the hips out. Again, if you've got limited range for now, don't worry. Just try and work within your current ranges for now, okay? And then you're gonna push one knee out. Try and extend the knee as much as you can, that's it. And change. So no real set time or reps on this. You're just trying to move, wake up the body, sort of get mobilized and get prepared for the day or the activity, what you're doing at that current time. Hands on your head, flex forward, 
Slowly peel yourself back and back down and back up. Good. Back down. And then feet together. You're going to bring your feet together like this and you're just going to do some gentle pulses into the hamstrings. Really, really gentle. Nothing too much. Never too strenuous through the back. Really gentle. Then you're just going to do some squats. Angles tight. And then push back and squat. Good. And then just to finish, you can just roll up slowly. And just do one more roll down and roll back up. Really heavy through the shoulders. Back up slowly. And back up to the top. So it's just a really simple self-care routine which you can maybe spend a little bit more time on certain areas. Maybe if you've had a sore back over the last couple of days or you've done a lot of training which involves some flag work, then you can obviously prioritize certain areas. But the point of it is, is to get all your joints working really, really nicely and give yourself that longevity for the future. Yeah, and whether you're just working on, it might be a handstand session, the whole point of getting the whole body moving, everything we're trying to do is integrating the whole of that kinetic chain, the whole of the body. It all works as one. So getting all of those joints moving and you starting to get more awareness of what bits are tight. And as Ali says, you can then focus little bits of time more on those areas that you're aware of because you're doing this now mindfully and aware of uh, which bits are tighter, left, right, hips, uh, shoulders, whatever, spine, and giving yourself some self-care to be able to look after your body for longer longevity and a better life.